Not one of you is going back until I know who has betrayed me. Did you find anything? No. I don't think you're telling me the truth. Yeah? Why is that? Where were you when Bill died? It's never good to keep secrets. And I've kept so many of them. Careful, girl. I'm being set up. This is sabotage. I've been focusing on trying to find the killer. When I should be trying to understand the victim. I feel like I'd have to die for you to love me. All right, so Chad here, and, and I'm doing a um, bonus review of A Murder at the End of the World with new friend of the show, Joy. How are you doing this evening, miss? I am good. So we are recording in Joy's home. So if you hear some a doggy, you know, running about, that's 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 just the cost of doing business here. We're on location. You know, we got we got the equipment for the job. So we both watched a show. It's on Hulu currently. And um, look out for um, like timestamps because we are going to open with non spoilers, but by the end, we will be talking spoilers. So, um, how did you hear about the show? I heard about it in a Facebook group that I am in called something about psychological thriller readers or something like that. Okay. And somebody, a lot of times, people will post a movie that they watched that was in the same vein. Or a TV show and someone posted and said that it was very good and would be wrapping up soon. So I started to watch and I got pulled in really quick. Okay. So I heard about the show, but I really wasn't jumping to check it out because I wanted to wait till it was over. Sure. But I'm a big fan of one of the co-creators, um, Britt Marling, of her work. Like um, I saw the OA on Netflix. It was okay. But she's, like, made a couple, like, really interesting science fiction movies, like um, Sound of My Voice, which was, she played, like, a cult leader. And, like, her whole shtick in the cult was that she's from the future. And she's trying to guide people on how not to have, like, a catastrophic um, sure. future. And so, like, you follow, like, a documentary crew, like, you know, following the cult. And the whole question is, is this real? And there's a lot of stuff that kind of makes you lean one way or another. Mm -hmm. Another one she did was called Another Earth, uh, which was pretty good. Um, it's not so much science fiction, but uh, one she did, it's probably like her most mainstream movie. It's called The East. It has um, Skarsgård, Alexander Skarsgård and um, Elliot Page. But this was in 10 2013. So, you know. Got it. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm familiar with her work. She always like does interesting stuff. So I was like, I'm kind of interested in this. Um, off the top, could you tell me what this show's about, or do you want me to read the official description? Mm, I could. The reason I kind of looked at watching it was because it was presented kind of like a Agatha Christie type murder where there's only so many people that it could be yeah, kind of yeah. a locked room mystery, which I, I've always loved, and I can't ever figure out usually before the end had no clue so um yeah so what is it a climate retreat that is taking place in i don't think they really said like we want to talk about climate change just happened to be some talk of that in yeah. the show okay yeah. so it was just a retreat that this very rich tycoon andy ronson is putting on that he does every year. Apparently, I got, kind of got that impression. Yeah. And he invites. Prominent figures. Climatologists. There was an artist. Wasn't there? There yeah, was. Like, There's a Hollywood uh, person. So it's just like. Astronaut. Yeah. Like yeah. so interesting people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then what was it? So. So many of the guests are invited by him. And then so many of the guests are invited by his. His wife. Wife. Yeah. So. Played by Brent Marley. Yes. And. Clive Owen plays the husband. Yes. Yeah. So um, we follow Darby Hart, who, um, when she was in high school, she helped solve a string of cold cases. And, and, and her dad was a uh, county county coroner? Yes. Yes. In so Iowa. that's kind of how she got. Yeah. How she was like kind of familiar with a little bit of that world. And so like she helped solve it. She wrote a book. And so she's not famous, but she's a rising star. Because she still had a day job in episode one. True. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, so we kind of talked about the cast. So we had uh, we have Emma Corrin playing Darby Hart, Brett Marley playing Lee, who is um, Clive Owen's wife, who is Andy Ronson. Uh, we've got Harris Dickinson as Bill Farrah or Fangs. Um, Raul Espinosa as David. Who the hell is David? David was. They played him as Andy's like best friend, but also competitor. Oh, the asshole ca- tycoon. Kind of, yeah. yes. And that guy's been in a lot of stuff. He's actually like a Broadway Ooh. award winning, but he was most recently, I think, in Law and Order SVU. He played the lawyer. I mean, who everybody's ha- who, been on Law yeah, and Order SVU. I've been yes. on Law and Order SVU. Me too. Oh, yes. It's my favorite. Mershka Hargate was great. Oh, mm. She is such a sweetheart. And Ice Tea. Mm. Mm. Uh, Ryan J. Haddad as Oliver. Louis Cananomigan? I don't. Louis as Todd. And then you had um, Joan Chen as Lou May. Jermaine Fowler, who I was really happy to see in this movie. He played Martin in this movie. The show, he played Martin. He's the, the, the movie executive. Yeah. And then a um, couple other people. Like, my issue is, like, most of these characters don't matter. I so there was like characters that mattered, and then there was like five or six people that I felt were, were just, really were underutilized. Right, Lume was one. The, I felt like they could have done so much with her. The movie producer, the activist. Yeah. The was it the artist, the woman that sang the Turkish? Was she Turkish? Yeah, that's, that, that was the activist. Okay, yeah. yeah. Didn't really the the older gentleman the. Climate guy, they didn't really do the, the a sailor. lot with him. Rohan, the sailor, yeah, yeah. Oh, they did something with him. So let, let's kind of uh, go into it a little bit. So um, essentially, we're non spoilers still, and I want to say the first night of this retreat, the Bill Fangs, he he found he's found dead in his room, and they're like, oh, obviously. This is a suicide by drugs. Look at the marks. He has a history of drug use. And Darby's like, hey, he's been clean for X amount of years. What are we doing here? We need to look further into this, but they won't. And Darby witnessed his last moments without. Yes. Yes. But not in the same room from a window. Right. From outside this room. And so she's got. Did we say that the retreat takes place in Iceland? Can we, we say we that? We did. Yeah, we can. It's like in a remote location. Like these are all things are, that are established in episode okay. one. Um, so the interesting thing is, it is like, a surprise to them though. But Darby knows because because I just started rewatching. Oh, you rewatched it? I started to rewatch the first okay. episode. I don't know if I I kind of want to because I feel like I miss a lot. I mean, that's the thing with these kind of shows where they're like, oh, hey, there's like more to it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. So essentially, she wants to investigate the murder. Oh, sorry, the death. But um, everybody's like, no, 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 no. This is this is accidental. Whatever, whatever. But then someone else dies, and then someone else after that. So and it's not an accident anymore. So yeah. So we end up with three murders um, by the end of the show. Three deaths. And so, like, it's an investigation of that. So, like, just non-spoiler overview, what were your thoughts on this show as a whole? I really, I enjoyed it. I liked how they kind of went back and forth in time. Oh, yeah. I forgot to about Darby that. and Bill working on her original case. Yeah. And then to present day where she is trying to make sense of this and trying to, she doesn't know any of these people except for Bill and, you know, she's never met anybody, anybody before she's known about them, but she doesn't know anything, you know, personally. Um, so I like that going back and forth. I know some people have a hard time keeping it straight, but it was pretty clear, like when they were supposed to be in the past and yeah. versus now. I liked how she sounded a little bit different in the past. Mm-hmm. So I like that choice as an actor. Mm-hmm. I, she looked so young to me, but yeah. I know the character is supposed to be young. Yeah. So that made sense. Um, I'm trying to think what else. She had to carry a lot of this show. Yeah. I don't, I think she was in every single scene of this show. If not every single, then probably close to, yes. Yeah. 
And there were some unbelievable parts that we yeah, might we'll mention, we'll but uh, on the whole, I felt like it was a good story. It, it, the technology aspect was really neat cool because i do think that people who have access to that kind of money can afford to do those kind of things that we don't find out about until later you know what i mean um i'm trying to think so i'm gonna jump in while you're thinking about Mm -hmm. some stuff i like the show overall i liked who they revealed was the killer but i was not feeling all those flashbacks like I feel like so like you get like a good chunk of what happened in the past in episode one and then they abruptly stop and then they show you something that happened immediately after the part that they stopped at. And I'm like, okay, well, it's clear what happened here, but we had to sit through six more episodes of flashbacks of them leading to that exact same scene again. And I'm like, I don't actually care about what happened in the past. Like I, yes, there were some interesting things about like how they started their initial investigation, but like, I don't care about y'all being on the road and y'all interviewing all these people. I don't care. I want to know what's happening in the present. So like, I would have been fine if we would have a flashback in the first episode only and every episode going forward, we would have stayed in the present and gave the characters in the hotel more character development. Cause like the whole point of like, of, um somebody is killed like we're we're trapped in this what what do you call this kind of mystery locked room a mystery. locked room mystery is that everybody is supposed to have a motive yes we yet got so little time with some of the characters that i'm like well okay well probably you, not them if you say it's them that doesn't feel justified mm-hmm. i think the flashback part was to give the story of darby and bill falling in love i get that I didn't, I mean, they could have summed that up. They yeah. didn't need to show their progress from strangers who meet on the internet all the way up to Them where solving you the case. knew, yeah. but you knew that they were going to also get together. Yeah. So there was no mystery there. But that they weren't still together in the present yeah. and they were both coming to this retreat separately. So is that a spoiler? No. Because Bill, I did not expect to see him at the retreat. That was a surprise to me. It was, but then when I, when I saw him sit at the table, I was like, "Okay, of course he's there." Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. fair. Because I yeah, because going into it, I had no idea who was gonna be the one killed. No, and also I like how like we got to meet some of the characters like when they're traveling. I'm like, okay, it could be any of them. Yeah, yeah. But no, the plane ride. Yeah, and they took away all their phones. Uh, excuse yeah. me, what? Uh, yeah. I, I thought that was Lume struck me as a very interesting character during yes. that too because she was like I got to be passed out. That's that's as, that's as like, much that's as much character development as you get. Who from is her that character. cool lady? I want to learn more from her. No, you don't get to. Yeah, I mean, astronaut came off really cool, and she got to yes. do some stuff, but it was like I don't. Uh, not a lot. Yeah. Not a yeah. I feel like. Of all the characters, though, Martin was the most underutilized. Like, he just explained a couple things on the plane. Yeah. And then, like, you barely saw him at all again until the very end. Right. Which. Yeah. And it. I didn't understand the part, too, where this might be spoilery, where Andy takes them out on their day trip. Um, let's, on the let's, snowmobiles. Let, let's let's okay. put a pin in that. Okay. Okay. So, do you have any other thoughts, or do you want to give your final thoughts, non spoiler? I think it did a decent job of building tension. Since you waited till all the episodes were out, you could just watch them all. I did not, and so I was anxiously waiting for that last episode to come out because I really okay. wanted to solve to figure out who it was, and I still felt like I had like hardly any idea. Yeah, of the motives. There were some motives, but they seemed too. Like it couldn't be Andy. That would just be too easy. Yeah, I I was like, if this or Lee. Yeah. Yeah. That would just be too, yeah, yeah, quick. Um, so I, I do want to say I like this show overall. I would recommend it, 
but almost every single episode is over 60 minutes long. Yes. And so know that going in. It's seven episodes. And honestly, if they would have cut that time up a little bit, it could have been like 10, 40 minute episodes. But, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. We don't make those creative decisions, do we? No. But it's a good show. Would recommend. It's on Hulu. Mm -hmm. We're about to talk spoilers now. Yes. So goodbye. I would totally recommend as well, too. Yeah. Kept me engaged, pulled me in, made me want to watch that last episode and see how How it all wrapped up. Everything got. mm, Because. And even, I'm trying to think, the methods of killing. Well, were very God. interesting. So we're in spoiler sound. So like you want to talk about their day trip, right? And essentially, the uh, Andy Clive Owen, the main tech guy. Am I allowed to say you it felt very? Um, hey, he's like <clears throat> Elon Musk, but he yeah. cares. Like does that he? Kind- does he though? It seemed like so the climate thing kept coming up, and they also talked a lot about zoomer yes yeah, so about his their legacy yeah. his child the yeah. world for his you know leave the world a better place that kind of thing yeah which elon musk doesn't really give me that yeah kind he's of... got like what 20 kids <laughs> so mm-hmm. they, they go on the day trip and they've got like these like robot drone things like digging underground like building like ants almost yeah and i was like like robotic ants this is disgusting because it's like building what cities underground cities yeah that could survive some kind of apocalyptic event yes for that yes but in iceland i mean because like it's it's cold there so so like when global warming happens or if there's nuclear fallout it's it's not gonna be you know a true desert. It's probably gonna be closer to normal. Sure. So like I was like, this is disgusting because it's like, why? What is the hubris of like people where they're like, we're gonna use these robots to do this, and they're not, and like they're like autonomous, right? Yes. And so like they, this isn't gonna turn bad, right? And one of the characters was like, just think of the things people can achieve if we don't have to worry about labor and i was like that is the most like white collar thinking you have right because like Very true. what we're gonna do is we're gonna put blue collar workers out of work you know people that are builders people that have learned these skills and it's not like it's like something beneath anybody right like there are like okay you may be like a construction worker but you know there's these people that's just like they just have a craft to like just do things with their hands. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. just like, why would we take, I understand like there are some situations where it, it can be dangerous, like in certain climates, right? Sure. Like there are people that are just like, they just know these things. Like there are so many like physical labor. Like, there's so many like, uh, what do you call it? Low quote unquote, low skill, um, abilities that highly we're, physical that we're losing because we're just giving it to like the computers and the robots automated yeah yes yeah and it didn't like it didn't go anywhere they talked about that and then it was like that was just like an anecdote it yeah. wasn't even like the main focus granted no they weren't expecting someone to get murdered and then more people to get murdered so they would have to go into solving that right but it was like he brought them all to show them that. And why was Darby there? Because she was interesting. Uh, okay. But, but she was really a smokescreen to, to get Bill there, though. Honestly. True. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Yes, she was. So, and then also we learned, like, you know, the movie producer guy, he's using AI to make movies. And I'm like, come on now. Like, this is the main. I, 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 I understand that this movie was made before the strikes. But and also, actually, this this show was supposed to come out like in August. Oh, it was. I but didn't they know. delayed it. And I bet it was because because they couldn't talk about it. Right. Yeah. Right. But I was. Just, yeah. It was a good show for the winter, though. I mean, because yeah. it's in Iceland and you feel all that and everything. Um, What was I going to say? You Make, were talking making about movies with AI. The making movies with AI. Well, and the one guy was talking about downloading a deep fake app and you could fake what people yeah. were saying and, I was wondering and that, that was came come up back. later yeah but like the movies being made with ai that never came back up martin had this much of a role pretty much yeah. um 
it was kind of like Lume being the smart cities person. Like maybe that robotic technology could help her smart cities, but that's just a maybe. Right. It wasn't even like a guaranteed thing. Right. I don't. And they made it sound like he was running out of money, but I thought he was some kind of. Yeah. Like, so, Yeah. Yeah. Multi bazillionaire, you know that still costs money though. That's true, and that hotel could not have been cheap. The hotel no. was almost like a character in itself. It was. It, I really thought that was neat. Are we going to talk about Ray? <laughs> Which one was Ray? Ray was the AI. Oh yeah, so Ray did it. The AI did it. It that that was the per- that was the thing. So when I finished the show, I looked at some reviews online. Not at all what I expected. So. I don't often watch stuff like in a bubble. And so apparently the online theories was Ray for weeks. Really? Yeah. Through the path that Ray actually ended up taking, which I I don't know like what steps like the internet got to it, but like the internet was saying it was Ray for the longest. Like one, like Ray is a character too. And sure. like you know how like movies will like have a character be there. And they're in the background, but you don't really think about them. Mm-hmm. And so and it's then like they turn out to be yeah. really important. Yeah. And it was very easy to believe that Ray was the like brains behind yep. the operation and the mastermind. But we're going full spoiler in a terrible yeah. way of of using a human to achieve his goals ray used I zoomer mean, why the not, why what, not five-year-old use, yeah why not use a child like they don't fully understand what's happening and that was terrible and like i remember in the last episode that moment when like andy and lee realized like ray told our son to yes. do this and he did this and these people died because of it yes the horrifying like that's what kind of it wasn't really a horror show even though there were deaths and there was some violence yes but that was like a really horrifying Part. I agree. Um, also, on the topic of wasted characters, I feel like Lee was a little bit wasted. Like her, all her scenes seemed, seemed she seemed a little bit off, and it's clearly because she was in a domestic abusive relationship. Yeah. But then, like I don't know, like they talk her character up of being like this great hacker, and like she does nothing. No, but she kind of gets Darby to like she gives Darby enough hints that Darby will do it. Right. For her, I thought that the Lee thing was weird, too, because she did seem off. But then, of course, when it showed, I, even though you kind of knew something was off between her and Andy, I was still shocked when he did the slap. I was like, what just happened? And that was another thing, too. Like, the whole... Room, Unexpected. The whole room was gaslighting her, right? Where... Uh, hold on, I wrote, they I wrote, were. I wrote this down in a note. So I said... How dare she try to kidnap her child and take him away from his lawful... She's also his lawful parent. Right. So I wrote... This is my note. I said, why is the room gaslighting Lee? Andy has everybody essentially held captive in his bunker. And he has demonstrated with ex- with an extremely violent outburst um, in front of everybody. Right? <laughs> he had a really loud outburst. And the group immediately asked for evidence as to why they feel the child is um, in danger. danger. And why would Lee want to take him away? Are we fucking kidding? Yes. Like, what is happening right now? I did really think it was funny when Darby was talking to Andy in the bunker, like, the first time. And I don't know what happens, but he just, like, loses his temper and freaks out and screams, I can't trust anybody. And I was like... We've all been there, dude. Yes, 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 yes. And then it becomes clearer through the show that Ray is his substitute and he therapist ma- and that's the thing, no, slash he ma- diary. I feel slash- like they mentioned it in like episode one where he's like, what if we combine security and therapy? Yes. Like, all the hints are there. It was looking back yeah. that, oh, you can just use this as your appointment book and your calendar and yeah. he'll keep tra- and he knows everything. He's seen all the movies. He's watched all the everything. And then they did mention therapy. Yeah. Like, if your therapist was just there with you all the time. Right. But, yeah, not a therapist that gives, like, constructive stuff back. He was more just, like, listening to what Andy said and, like, making his own kind of decisions, I guess. Well, he was mixing programming stuff. Oh, okay. Because, the, like, the whole reason why he was like, we got to kill Bill is because... Because Bill was a threat, right. too. 
and Andy and, 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 uh, Andy and Ray his... is security. Yeah. So you know, if he's a threat as security, we have to eliminate him. Yes. Yeah. I also felt that the medical doctor was negligent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Where were you when all these things were going missing? Not and even from... just that, but like, have you heard Nobody of Hippa, notices ma'am? A kid. Ma'am, have oh. you heard of Hippa? Or uh, Darius? Like, tell me about X, Y, Z. I can't tell you that. Why is Andy receiving treatment? Okay, well let what? me let me break it down like this. And I, I wrote in my notes, she's folding faster than Superman on laundry day. Like, ma'am, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Lee kept it close to the, like, she didn't give too much away, yeah. though, which made sense by the end. You realize, like, she really couldn't. Right. Oh, what did you make about Bill being Zoomer's biological father? So, the, that, and the finding out method. And one of the flashbacks, he was like, I went to like a fortune teller, and she's like, I'm going to have one child by a, a person I only have sex with one time. And I was like, oh, duh. And then by the end of the episode, like, it was confirmed yeah. that that was his kid. And I was like, okay, well, fucking duh. Yeah. Yeah. So, interesting. I don't know. Like, the story of, like, Lee and Bill didn't sound right. Like, he he, sta- he found her in a cabin in the woods. Like, this don't sound right. And at the time, you already date an old dude. Like True. None of this. This is not adding. This don't make sense. We didn't need the backstory. Yeah, it did. I mean... And then Andy, of course, broke it down. Well, Bill provided the DNA yeah. and the nature versus nurture, which is always a huge question. Yeah. And yeah. So do you think leave it open? They left it open for Darby to return and solve another mystery or so second season. What do you I think? I wish that the show wasn't specifically called a murder at the end of the world. But make it- I could totally see them that like that character specifically is ripe for other adventures. Darby. She, yes. Yeah. Um, modern day and peck and inspector Pearl. Right. Yeah. Sure. So I would love to see like, let's see her do a, an adventure like in a desert town. I don't fucking know. Sure. But yeah, like very similar situation. Like, like, you know, just like the Pearl movies, right. Or mm-hmm. the TV movies from back in the day, she meets some eccentric characters and she has to solve a case sure. with a ticking clock. And it would be cool to see more like hacking behind yes, the scenes. Yes, I would like to see more hacking. Like it kind of remind. If you ever saw, did you ever see the movie Hackers with Angelina Jolie way back? back? In the day. I seen it back in the it day. It kind of Darby kind of reminded me yeah. like of a young Angelina Jolie Cyber with the same hair and, stuff, and yeah. like out there breaking the rules and. Yeah. But she and I think it. It brought it nice full circle too, like that Darby was able to help Lee. Yes. And not after she was a dead body, the way that she yes. had with the previous yes, murders. Yes, you yes, know, yes, yes, she yes. was able to help Lee while Lee was still alive. And that really made a difference to Darby. Yeah. Because I felt like Darby, like Bill really fell in love with Darby. And Darby was like, eh, I just want to solve this case. But also you're cool too. She was too obsessed with it. She was. And it really showed like the fire. What? Yeah. That was crazy. Yes. So. All right. So we, we're at 30-ish minutes. So we're going to we're gonna rock and roll here. But uh, thank you so much, Joy, for you know doing this with me and convincing me to watch this. And also, I, I just want to throw in there, you... You 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 built this up a little bit too much because you were like, why is this girl naked in every episode? And she was not naked, naked. She was just like in her underwear. She was walking around with no shirt on for she, most of the show. She didn't show. Women the, don't do that she, generally. She showed them boobs like twice. How many times did you see the opposite none i didn't see any dicks no thank you okay game of thrones that's my equal opportunity out there we see it all this is no it. other show will offer me that i was gonna say i was gonna say this Cutting is a premium co- co- uh, premium cable but this is streaming so you can that's literally true. do whatever you want so and who right. has hulu put out a lot of they put out a lot of movies i feel like they got shows i don't ask me to name them now made tale yes and, okay um penis Oh, that's really funny. Yeah. That is a good show. Yeah. I need to watch more of that. Anyway. But yeah, we're going to get out of here. Please like and subscribe. I always forget to do that at the top of the show. But I'm rusty. I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, so like and subscribe. Thank you, Joy. Um, Thank you. Social medias and stuff. 
maybe it's not on the screen, but it could be. Matt, can you put that on the screen? I don't know. I'm editing. That's what I'm saying. I'm rambling. But this is fun. Thank you so much, Joy. And we out of here.